Hey, Dave. Um, hope you're well when you guys had a happy flight, as you had mentioned. Um, how is Garrett Clevenger doing? Did you get any updates on him? He, he's doing, he's a little sore. Um, went out there and played catch. Um, so I think that we came out of it, dodged the bullet. Um, so yeah, he's going to remain active, um, available tonight if, if need be. And uh, so again, yeah, he, he, he responded really well to treatment. That's great to hear. And I don't want to jump too far ahead, but do you happen to have a, the pitching plan for tomorrow just yet? You know, uh, it is going to be a bullpen day. Um, but so looking at the pen, there's a lot of options as far as who's going to start the game. Uh, I, I see a handful of guys pitching tomorrow. And I think that for us, we're just going to kind of see how we come out of it today to make that decision. Okay. Thanks, Dave. You got it. Next question from 130BO. Go ahead. Hey, Dave, I'm, I'm just kind of wondering, with Kaber on the taxi squad, do you envision a kind of a scenario where you have three catchers on, on a roster to, to, at some point? It could happen. Um, I, I think that uh, Kaber at the outside has done fantastic. Just got finished catching a bullpen, Julio's pen. Um, everything's been good. Kaber's done fantastic. So uh, could it happen? Certainly. I just don't know the timing right now, but part of the reason we want him to be with us is to kind of get that day in, day out, major league lifestyle and if it makes sense for our roster then we'll activate awesome and with, with joe kelly um did everything kind of come out good with him yesterday uh i haven't heard and uh I, i'll find out but uh, hopefully no news is good news and again joe if it went well it is on track to you know join us at some point in time soon thanks dave yes next question is from jorge castillo go ahead jorge Hey, Dave, uh, how's Mitch White? Mitch White's doing well. Took the, uh, the vaccine, and uh, there was a good chance he'll be active tonight. We just got to kind of figure out the uh, position player corresponding move. And then uh, is Joe going to be with you guys at some point here, Joe Kelly? Um, on this road trip, unlikely, but potentially, um, you know, I'd say probably the earliest when we get to Anaheim or on the homestand. And uh, is Cody in Arizona? He is. He is. He's, uh, he's in Arizona, kind of doing his progression. And at some point, we're going to get him into some outside games. Um, there might be a little respite there, so I'm not sure what the schedule is, but we're trying to get him some live at bats. Yeah. And you mentioned the, the taxi squad, like allowing Caber to sort of get the major league lifestyle. Has that been sort of, a, I guess, a nice side reward to this sort of situation, having guys maybe travel with you? And and you, you guys having your eyes on them and stuff like that? It is. And I think if you look back at two years ago in September, we did uh, maybe three years ago, we did the same thing with Will Smith. And just kind of seeing the processes and, and the meetings and how it goes, the kind of the, the rhythm of it, um, I, I think certainly gave Will a little bit better runway and a chance to have success early. And we're expecting the same thing from Caber, yeah. Um, I saw you out here on the field with Edwin Rios a little earlier. You guys are typically, you guys are talking hitting. Just. What can you share about that? What, what are you looking from him? What are you looking to do with him when you're out there? Anything mechanically? What are you What are you talking about there? Yeah, I, I, the um, the hitting guys uh, out there early was uh, Aaron Bates, but the hitting guys have done a are continuing to grind with uh, Edwin, and um, you know there's an emotional uh, performance part of it that all players go through, um, and there's also mechanical parts. So just kind of trying to address both of those uh, individually. Um, it's something that these conversations that we're all having with, with Edwin and uh, I thought today was a good day of work and um, we're going to continue to give him opportunities. And emotional, you mean like pressing? Yeah, because like uh, pressing. You, cause all guys want to get hits and um, sometimes, you know, to have a good at bat but not to get the result, you know, we're all guilty of not kind of taking the most out of that process and, and trying to uh, you know, get a hit, which I absolutely understand that. And just lastly for me, uh, Corbin Burns just placed us on the IL. Um, they didn't specify anything. Do you expect to see him on Sunday? What, what kind of intel do you guys have? So I, I don't. Uh, I, I don't know if it's, um, you know, obviously if it's uh, injury related, which coming out of that last start, I don't think it is. And if it's COVID related, you can come back at any point in time. But again, I don't know enough. Um, our expectation is to plan for him. Uh, as one of the best pitchers in the game. Uh, and if we don't, then we'll, we'll adjust. Got it. Thank you, Dave. You got it.
Next question is from Eric Steven. Go ahead. Dave, uh, just sort of related to the Mitch White thing, I guess that if you send a position player down, you'd be at 14 pitchers. Is that sort of the expectation at least for tomorrow, you know, for the bullpen game? Yes. And then um, Sheldon Noisy's in there. I know you guys uh, facing a left-hander today. Um, how has he looked just like generally to you the last couple weeks since he's been back up? Sheldon um, has looked fantastic. Uh, he's done everything we've asked. And uh, I really wanted to get him a start. Um, and with Gavin, uh, my expectation is that he'll be down today and he'll play the next three here and play three in, in uh, Chicago. But they're, they're, both, they're both doing fine. Thanks, Dave. Yep. Thanks, questions from J.P. Hornstra. Go ahead. Yeah, Dave, you mentioned that Cody is potentially going to get in some alt-site games at some point. I know that minor league season start next Tuesday. Do you think Cody will be back before then or could he be out there in OKC? Yeah, I would say, you know, again, I, I don't know enough as far as right now uh, up to the minute where he's at, but, you know, kind of probably thinking out loud, I, I would say that he'll go to OKC and, uh, you know, wherever, I don't know, wherever we can get him live at bats, whatever is best for Cody and gets him ready for us, that's what uh, we'll, we'll end up doing. Cool. And just wanted to check in on, on the proximity to the 85% vaccination threshold after these last couple of days. Yeah. You know, I, I think that it, it's still, you know, once you get the second vaccine, it's a, it's another two weeks till you're two weeks out till you get that kind of clearance. So I don't think the numbers moved. Check back with me in about eight to 10 days. And I think that number will be uh, increased. Great. Thank you, Dave. Got it. Next question from Dave Asse. Go ahead, Dave. Hey, Dave. Uh, last year, uh, Will Smith was having good at bats, but not getting the results. Um, I'm curious, just outside of that three run home run, do you feel like that's the beginning of getting results? How, what have you thought of his at bats that have made you encouraged? Uh, everything Will Smith has done in the batter's box has uh, leaves me encouraged. Um, he's taking walks. He's getting on base. There's hard contact. There's uh, using the entire field. So I, I, I would encourage him to not change a thing and uh, expect uh, there to be more hits in there. But as far as his process, uh, verse left, verse right, it's right where it needs to be. I think a lot of people maybe mistook you saying you were looking forward to seeing Kabert on this taxi squad uh, trip. But how how does this whole dynamic of him being with you guys on the taxi squad and him continuing to develop? What's the what's the balance there as far as what's best for Cabert and what's best for the Dodgers? Well, um, I, I don't see how I was mistaken, Dave. Um, I, I'm look. I I love having Cabert around. Um, I think that him traveling with the major league club is, is beneficial. I think that he's taken full advantage of the alt sided bats. He's really performed. Um, and when his time comes for activation, short term, long term, uh, we'll all be excited. Thanks, Dave. You got it. We got time for one more. Go ahead, Ron. Yeah, Dave. Since uh, since returning from the um, the COVID IL, uh, Dennis Santana uh, has appeared in three straight, and he's done really well. He's looked pretty sharp uh, with three Ks and all. Uh, earlier this week, you said that um, you're looking at him for a two to three inning guy. Uh, with what he did yesterday, getting the final strikeout, might he be in consideration as a um, closer when Kenley's down? Um, I, I would say uh, that's not uh, in the cards right now, Ron. Um, I think that the last three have been have been really good for Dennis, and um, he'll be down today, obviously with three in a row. But I think with him is just continuing to pound the strike zone, and so which he has done. Uh, the last three outings and so just continue to do that continue to grow um but i think you know when you're talking about a closer that's a whole another level of comp that's a whole different conversation thanks dave thanks everybody.